Hey guys, today we're going to be having a review of the JCB uh, 535-140 telehandler by, made by NCG in 150 scale. This uh, telehandler retails for $116.95. Um, so well, let's get started. Functionality wise, the front and the rear wheels do steer. It's all wheel steering, so let's just pick this up a minute. Here. See, it's all-wheel steering, so it does trace a nice curve. Um, coming to the back here, these light clusters, they both fold down. So it's just a nice little addition. I mean, it doesn't make it much wider or shorter, if at all. But uh, it's just nice to have on the machine, I guess. Coming back to the front, each stabilizer um, comes down. They are stiff enough to pose the model wheels free which is another nice feature. Um, this model is supplied with a bucket, as you can see on the machine right now, and a set of pallet forks, which are just pin-on. They don't hook over the coupler like the bucket. And I'm probably not going to attach them in this review just because they are pain to t uh, attach, especially on camera, they'll be a pain. Knowing me, I'll completely go out the window. But uh, it has a decent lift height. I mean, that's just the first section. It's already out of the camera. And uh, it's got two more sections, as you can see here. I mean, it's got a nice uh, reach to it. The bucket is a little bit heavy on it, to be fair. So, I mean, if you put those down, it makes it a little bit less. The bucket is removable. You pull this pin right here. And then you pull its opposing side pin. And then it, it just pops right off. And you can see the coupler there it up, put it back to the original position. Um, the pins are just two little steel pins. There's nothing much to say about them. I mean, you can see it here. That'll focus. It's just two little steel pins, a couple of them. And there's one long one to attach the forks. Uh, I have that sitting in the box, though. Don't want to lose it until I get back to the other shelves. Um... The bucket here is a uh, pretty simple piece, pretty simple casting. It's got the coupler hook up on the back, the hooks and the pin-on sections. There's not too, too much to it. There's not really any bolt detailing. There's uh, some wear plates underneath, which is nice, I guess. It's just that NZG, I think, could have done a better job there in that department. Um, the model itself here... There are hydraulic lines that run from the boom um, up to the hydraulic ram up top. Coming to the back, you see the fenders here are plastic, and uh, they're casted metal wheel chocks on the body itself. There's a mirror right here, and then a plastic model tow hitch. It doesn't really work, obviously. Well, maybe not obviously, but you know, what the hell. The exhaust stack... And here's another set of mirrors. These are plastic mirrors, by the way. They're not metal, which is too bad, but uh, what can you do? It sits on a set of uh, metal wheels, metal wheels with uh, f matte black tires, which is nice. It's not real, real shiny. I like that a lot. It's got nice crisp detailing. And the uh, one other thing I noticed about this is that the rivets, they're not... Uh, I wouldn't even call it, go as far as calling them rivets. They're more like friction pins. They're really small and really unobtrusive, and I really like that. Got uh, plastic windshield wiper, plastic antenna, plastic mirrors up top here. You can see down here is the modeled um, service bar. I say service bar. It's the bar that goes on the cylinder to prevent it from falling while you're servicing the machine. I don't remember what you call it, honestly. You've got uh, a set of metal steps that go up to the cab. And the cab detailing is really, really nice. I like this a lot, this detailing in the cab. I don't know how much you can see it through the camera and through the glass here, but it's not bad at all. Um, that being said, is it worth $117? I, I'm going to say yes. Just because, well, for one, besides an old cat 
360 telehandler that I've had in my collection forever, which, when I say forever, I mean since I was like five. So it's been beat up, it's been torn apart, basically. So it's nice to have a, a another telehandler in the collection, one that's going to stay looking nice. So for $117, I would purchase it. I would. Um, I mean, it's got forks, it's got the bucket, it's made by NZG, which is a top quality manufacturer. You really can't go wrong. It's detailed, but it's also robust at the same time. So, uh, yeah. That's the JCB 535-140 Telehandler on 50th scale. If you guys want any reviews, leave a comment down below. And also leave a like. It's very appreciated. Thank you.